hello hello everyone come on in this building put a like on the video make sure you're subscribed and click on the bell so you know when i'm dropping a new message okay there are links in the description box y'all if you would like a private session with me make sure you get in on it we also have a new session i am doing rune readings so get them while they are available we have the pussy portal program um we also have the book i'm writing a second book well not the second book but also um actually a second anthology it's called crowns rebirthing the cosmic womb of legacy and leadership so if you would like to join in on that make sure you send me an email okay um and also the link to get into our uh to get to the landing page for the book is also in the description box okay so let's get into this message y'all forgiveness is a generational curse okay so i recently uploaded a message i think it was a live stream i just did um and two oracle cards came out the oracle card that said forgiveness fell out and the oracle card that said no fell out and it literally confirmed what i was just saying about forgiveness not being what you're called for there needs to be um none of that going on there there needs to be another thing to take its place and that was coming through in the channeled message so you know i shared with you how i don't believe in forgiveness like i used to like i was taught and also how most people think of forgiveness i have a, a different perspective on that and the divine you know this rising it kept coming to me okay talk about this talk about that somebody needs to hear this and then i literally heard you know forgiveness is a generational curse it has been plaguing you and your bloodline for a very long time so let's talk about it briefly okay if you resonate with this put a like on a video and leave a comment okay so there's this idea called forgiveness and we need to be mindful on who it serves, okay? Forgiveness was birthed from religion. It came with that, right? And religion is the number one form of control in history. It's the number one. You can always control a person or a people with their belief system of religion, of who they think God is, right? It's a whole thing okay we might have to talk about that later but for the sake of this message okay forgiveness is also a form of control if you have an institution that was literally created to place control over others then every single thing that they give birth to is also going to exert that same control or a different level of control and you notice how forgiveness seems to benefit the predator right because if the predator knows that they have your forgiveness because you're a god-fearing woman you're a god-fearing man they're gonna keep perpetrating the crime aren't they right so for many of you forgiveness has been the generational curse just like sexual assault has been a generational curse you're needing to heal right drug abuse is a generational curse alcoholism generational curse right lack mentality and also forgiveness you can look at your family line and they're willing to forgive the predator over consoling and counseling the victim the person who was actually hurt you create a very safe environment for predators to feed because now they know like oh my goodness you know what i could do the most diabolical things on earth but i know there's somebody out there that's going to forgive me probably the person that i'm doing these harmful things too because they've been indoctrinated into this they've been brainwashed into this ideology that they need to forgive the person who has really gravely harmed them right and you see within your family some of you within your bloodline man you've been forgiving people for so long that family predators have jumped generations now okay now great grandpa is molesting everybody because he's been forgiven so much um he's he's been in an environment where his obsession his incestual views and, and and belief systems are actually being supported through the ideology of 
forgiveness okay some of you 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 have been experiencing a certain level of life right because you chose to forgive people who did not ever deserve your forgiveness okay others of you it's kind of like you've decided to take on a role that doesn't belong to you so what i assigned to and you absolutely don't have to believe me or listen to anything that i say you can log off right now right what i believe is that i'm not going to do a role that does not belong to me i feel like the uh, forgiveness belongs to the most high i don't take responsibility for forgiving anybody i don't i don't need to do that you understand me and you have this whole line well forgiveness is for yourself it's not for the other person is it though is it though is forgiveness really for you right some people was like well i was only able to let go of the situation because i had to forgive the person that hurt me was forgiveness the method in which you were able to heal though was it in the forgiving and you know that's just a question i'm just wanting you to ask to ask yourself this was me forgiving the person who hurt me was that the key for me to move on and now have a better life or did i move on and have a better life because i instilled healthier boundaries or did i move on and, and live a better life because i decided to seek a therapist right was I able to heal from this experience because I tapped into Yoni steams? I tapped into ancestral veneration. Was it forgiveness for the person towards the person who hurt you? Is that what freed you? And I'm not sure a lot of people can actually say it was the forgiving of the person. I don't think you could say that. For some people, it's like, oh no, well, going to church helped me. Great, fine. Um, speaking to my sisters or... Um, meditation is what helped me for a lot of people forgiveness is not actually what helped them and for others of people forgiveness is actually what enabled them to live a lackluster life or a life that they can view as mediocre and not to the fullest of their potential because they're holding on to this so not only do you have to deal with your trauma and coping through that and how to navigate life after what happened to you happens but now you're also responsible for giving for forgiving the person who hurt you and then for some people within your bloodline this person is a repeat offender okay all right they harmed your mama your cousins your uncles your aunties you your nieces your nephews your second cousins okay the family down the block this person's a repeat offender and everybody has been forgiving okay everybody has been forgiving this person and in the meantime they've been shutting the mouths of those who have actually been hurt forcing those who have been hurt to take on the huge responsibility that comes with forgiving someone for something okay so that's that also, you know that this ideology of forgiveness is a man-made construct. And that's not to bash men. By man-made, I mean it's not in alignment with um, the law of the land and universal law. Forgiveness is not in alignment with universal law. The universe does not forgive, okay? And in our society, we have such a huge inversion of the truth, what is actually... Um, dictated by the most high you, they inverted they want to do the opposite okay so of course they want you to forgive because forgiveness is the opposite of the most high is the opposite of the universe and the cosmos the universe doesn't forgive you know that because our realm of reality is ruled by universal law you can't escape universal law it is what it is you put an energy out you get an energy back that's what universal law says nowhere in between here does it say forgive universe doesn't forgive the universe isn't responsible for that even the universe doesn't claim responsibility for forgiveness the universe says you put an energy out you get an energy back that's just that's fair but you have man who man make mankind who is so hell-bent on exerting control 
and also creating the conditions in which their control and oppression is accepted. It's acceptable now because everybody forgives you. You're great. You can keep on doing what you got to do. All of that was created by those who go against nature. Nature. Mother Earth does not forgive. Where? Where? Where has she ever forgiven? Right? Even with all the, the, the pollution in the seas and in the oceans. Right? All of the toxins, all the chemicals, the oil, the gasoline, all of this stuff in the ocean. Does Mother Earth forgive for that? No. She says, hey, buddy, you polluted my waters. Now I have indigestion, okay? And so now I need to get this out of me. I may burp really loud, okay, really hard. Or I may upchuck, I may vomit. And me vomiting looks like flooding. Me vomiting looks like five seven foot waves because i need to get all this stuff out of me that you placed into me does mother earth forgive for that no she said you did something to me and as a result this has to happen that's it there's no there's no middle there's nothing here <laughs> it's this and then it's this okay all right and one thing that i really see especially in you know the community that i come from with with my particular people is we've been rocked to sleep with this construct called forgiveness. We've been forgiving for generations when that is never the way of our people. That has never been the way. It's like, sir, you invade my village. I'm invading yours. Why? Because that's divine justice. That's in accordance with universal law. Like, I don't, I don't get that. It's, it's, it's equal, it's balanced, it's fair. Okay, um, and more fair than equal, but fairness is what it is. Divine justice, the scales, ma'at. We are a people of ma'at. We are not a people of forgiveness. And when you kind of mislead a whole people into accepting a ideology that doesn't belong to them, you have what's going on right now within our communities. You have predators still on a rampage within single families, okay? Predators have been loose for 25 years, okay? They've been reveling in a beautiful environment where they can just feast on victims because of forgiveness, right? Because of forgiveness, because it was introduced to our people and into society, you have literal victims hugging, you know, the person who just slaughtered their whole family. You're just gonna hug them in court? They slaughtered your whole family. You're crying on their shoulders like, oh my God, I forgive you. Really? Okay. All right. That's not our way. We don't do that. That's not something that is ingrained in us. That's something that we were taught. And it has caused a lot of harm in our families. And like I said, not even just people who look like me, but in other communities and societies, villages and countries. That's not our way. And you know when you're when you're talking to a god, you know when you're talking to someone who's tapped into their divinity, when they shun the concept of forgiveness. Nah, the gods don't forgive. That's not it's not that's not us. That belongs to a different set of people. Okay? We have justice. We adhere to universal law. You did this and this is the result of that what you did. Okay? So, you know, please don't get um, caught up into these constructs that don't belong to you and that have caused you more harm than good. And I'm not saying you need to hold bitterness and anger and shame and guilt. Many of you know that that's not what I'm saying because we also have the Pussy Portal program where I teach you how a goddess and a priestess releases trauma, shame, guilt, blame, all of that stuff from out of her womb, from out of her portal. And she reminds herself, she reconnects with her higher self. She reconnects with the goddess within her to empower her to live a different life, to completely transform her life. Nowhere in that program that I teach do I talk about forgiveness. Not even in the Embodying the Goddess program that was in like, that was from two years ago, that I launched two years ago. We don't even talk about forgiveness then because forgiveness is not, it's not a download that will come in. It's not, okay?
It has never been. I've never received a download where it's like, hey, you need to forgive the people that slaughtered. It's never, that's never happened. What has happened was the downloads. Hey, you're still holding trauma within you and trauma that's attached to your bloodline. Here are the ways that we want you to release it. And once you release it successfully, we want you to document it and then feed it to the world. Give it to them. Let them know that this is the way we want them to heal. It said nothing about forgiveness. Why? Because forgiveness is the work of the divine. Forgiveness is the work of the higher ups as far as I'm, I'm concerned, okay? Right? Nowhere in my birth chart does it say, hey, Tierra is meant to forgive others. It does not say that. But everything else that I said, it says that though, okay? So there's another message there, you all, to know thyself, right? Study your birth chart. Get the paperwork about you. Pull it up. It's free. It's absolutely free. You can study it. Um, definitely, I always say take a look at your North Node, South Node, and your Midheaven. Definitely pay attention to your Mercury, Mars, and your Venus, okay? How you communicate, the actions that you are wired to take, and also how you love. These things are very important, okay? Um, and even in many of your birth charts, it will have nothing. It will say nothing about forgiveness or anything like that. It would probably say, hey, you're meant to create a new way of life. You're meant to um, instill a whole new way of doing things within your bloodline. You're meant to branch off and create your own. And a lot of times what I'm feeling for some of you, when it's saying that, it's also meaning the ideologies that your family was indoctrinated into. The main one is forgiveness, y'all. And I'm so passionate about this. And you know, this is coming from someone who grew up very religious. I grew up Christian. I was always in church, okay, always. And so I know that there has always been, you know, the training, the, in, the, the brainwashing and the training to forgive those who have harmed you. And I always questioned that, like, is that really my job? Am I really the one that has the jurisdiction to do that though? You know, I always wondered, and as I got older, certain things started happening. I started expanding my mind. I also started reading other texts, right? I started looking into other sacred texts and getting a bigger picture and letting the divine talk to me. And the downloads were actually, it's not really your responsibility to forgive, okay? And, um, you know, those of you who tapped into that live stream, you really resonated with that message. And, you know, like I said, no no forgiveness came in. That was the download. Some of you, your guides are literally telling you right now to let go of the concept of forgiveness and watch your life transform literally overnight. Let it go, right? And I told you that there are other ways to remove this type of energy out of your body forgiveness doesn't have to be one of them it's never had to be we were just told it was and then when you come back right when you have a, the comeback well why do i need to forgive the person they then they want to tell you well forgiveness is for you so they always have an answer but still they want you to forgive because if you forgive a person they still have control over you they still do you're still tied to that energy they're still tied to you right so there's an energetic cord attaching you to the person that hurt you and then when you forgive that person there's still an energetic cord attached to the person that hurt you and you you're still tied but if you remove the concept of needing to forgive anybody right and just surrender all of that to the divine and do your work as a priestess as a priest to remove that energy from your body you don't ever have a reason to forgive that's what i'm saying like there's no reason to forgive because divine justice is served right there's no reason to forgive when universal law is being loved respected and honored because you understand well an energy went out and the energy got to come back as a result of what went out so why do i need to forgive for anything i don't get that why do why do i need to do an extra step Two steps happened. Something happened. This is the result. 
Why do I need to come in with the extra step of forgiveness? That's not my role, okay? So I just felt the need to expand on that because like I said, that, that was just in the live, it just came up. And you know, we were on a roll. We were channeling so much information, y'all, that um, it wasn't the time to kind of get into that because that would have taken us kind of away from that specific message. So the divine was like, okay, don't go into that. But literally when I got up this rising, it was just in my mind. Like I literally like hopped out of bed and I wrote it down in my notebook. Um, forgiveness is a generational curse. Just like drug abuse, just like alcoholism, just like sexual assault has been a generational curse in your family, so has forgiveness, all right? So this is also a teaching for, for both of us, right? I'm a student and a teacher, but this is also an invitation for you to just take a look at things just a little bit, like in your life and in your family life. And identify situations where forgiveness was probably the worst thing that you could have ever possibly have done, right? Everybody's situation is different. Some people who watch this may never ever resonate. They may think I'm crazy and all of that stuff and that's great. I know that I speak to a specific group of people who this message is for. So I encourage you and also invite you to take a look at where the concept of forgiveness has harmed you. And if you say that, well, I've forgiven the past, have you forgiven the past? Because there wouldn't be a past if you forgave it. You understand me? Like you're forgiving somebody for what they did to you in the past, but you're saying you're not going to hold on to the past, but you actually are. So it's a whole thing, right? Just forgive, forgive, <laughs> let go of forgiveness and then see what happens. And I'm not saying you need to take revenge. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just telling you to look at forgiveness just a moment and see if it actually helped you is is the forgiveness what actually healed you or was it finally surrendering to the divine's call on your life that healed you like i said before was it healthy boundaries healthy boundaries that actually helped you heal was it that was it the cord cutting was it the the new moon rituals that helped you heal or was it forgiving that person and did you actually forgive the person okay something to think about and also is gener is is it a generational curse in your family too like it is in many different people's families like millions of people forgiveness has become a generational curse it has actually kept people imprisoned it has actually kept people who have endured assaults it has kept them shut up and suppressed while their perpetrator is free to do whatever they want because they've been forgiven. It's great. Even Nana, even Nana forgave them. Okay? Even Grandpa forgave them. It's cool. They could keep offending. It's great. Right? Think about that. All right? I love y'all. I love you so much. I'm definitely sending you a lot of love and healing and also um, strength and courage. It takes courage to ask ourselves these type of questions, okay? It really does take courage for us to look at ourselves and look at our family and make some conclusions and listen to what the divine is telling us. It, it takes a lot of strength, so I send you, I send you some of that too. If you need something more specific to your situation, please do not hesitate to click on the links in the description box. I am literally here for you. And also get in on the Pussy Porter program. If you're also called for this path, but you're needing to know some things and how to tap into your own gifts, your own intuition, your own gifts of prophecy, all right? Um, and, and yeah, that is all my loves. Peace and love, bye-bye. <laughs>